Hey everybody, on this week's episode, I'm gonna show you how to install this Opt7 light bar. Uh, they have a bunch of different products. This one in particular is their light bar that you can stick here between the bumper and the tailgate, and it has uh, all sorts of different features. So the first thing we want to do here is actually remove the tailgate. So what you do is open it, and you've got these little kind of guide wires on each side. Just pull up and they pop right off. Same thing for this side. Just like that. And then usually somewhere on the passenger side, there's a little notch where you can get it at just the right angle that that side will pop off. Like that. And once you have that side up, this side just comes off pretty easily. This is gonna fit kind of right in line with the top of the license plate frame. Um, but as you can see, we've got my uh, spare tire bracket is in the way. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and remove these two bolts here and just take this little plastic housing off. Got a drill and a Phillips bit. We're just gonna take these out real quick. Go ahead and save the screws. Um, if you have a similar setup to this, I know some of them you have the spare tire underneath and you don't even have a setup like this. So you might just be able to skip this step. But go ahead and pull. That off is so just a little plastic piece there. It kind of holds this. Now before you go too far in any installation process like this, you want to go ahead and plug it in and just test and make sure that it works. So here I've got the hazards on. We can see that it's working. Um, but I do, you know, hazards, brakes, all that stuff, just to make sure that you didn't get a bad unit. And once you know that, you can continue with the installation process. Next that we want to do now that we've got the tailgate off, we want to clean this whole area to make sure that it is ready for the adhesive. So just spray it down and clean it off. Uh, any normal household cleaner should do. Just get all the dirt off basically is what we're going for. Alright, now that that's done, we're going to let that dry for a couple minutes. Here's a little diagram they provide you. My truck has a 7-pin plug, not the 4-pin that this will fit into. So you have to buy a little adapter like this. It's just a 7-pin to 4-pin adapter, and that'll work for that. But if you look, it says you've got your running lights, your ground, your running lights, your left turn and brake light, and your right turn and brake light. And then you see reverse is a different wire over here. So what you're gonna have to do is wire this into your reverse light. If you look here at the end of the unit, you do have two separate wires. So this one will just get plugged into your regular trailer hitch. If you have a plug like that, there's no need for adapter. If you do need the adapter, it'll be linked below. And then we will wire this into the uh, tail light assembly like I showed you like I said earlier now that we've given that a couple minutes to dry we're gonna go ahead and apply the included adhesive booster this is just going to help the light bar stick better now that that's done we can go ahead and peel the tape off of the back of this. One thing you do want to double check before you install this is that when you turn on your right turn signal that the right side of this lights up and when you turn on the left side, the left side lights up. If you turn it on and it's reversed, just flip the light over itself and that'll fix it. Once you've tested it, go ahead and peel the back off. and stick it on. 
Remember to get it as level as possible. If you look here on the both ends, I've got this little gap here. Um, I'm hoping this isn't going to be a problem. If for whatever reason you have the same problem and it does start to come off, there is the other hardware where you can actually screw this in. Um, I tried to do it that way. I just had trouble getting through the actual bed of the truck and I don't have a drill bit or anything like that. So I'm going to give this 3M tape a try and we will see what happens. Now that that's done, we want to figure out how to run all of our power wires. This white wire, like I said earlier, has to go to the tail light. Um, I do have a space under here underneath that I'm going to run that up into the tail light, but this other wire has to go to wherever your four pin plug is or seven pin with the adapter. My seven pin is down here. Normally what I do is just run it behind the bumper here and up like this, but as you can see, that's the exhaust pipe and that gets hot. So we don't want to melt our wire. So what I'm gonna do is run it backwards up kind of under the bumper and down through here. There's a little, uh, some shielding in here that will shield our cable from the hot exhaust pipe. So we're gonna run it down like that. Take our seven pin to four pin adapter. Plug that in here. Make sure it's in there good and tight and make sure that if you have it, some of these have a little notch that'll kind of hold it in there for you. So you wanna make sure that that's hooked up. And then you take your plug and plug it in. Next I'll show you how to run this wire to your reverse bulb so that these will light up white when you go into reverse. Things first, we wanna take off these two screws. I'm actually missing one. I just noticed that it broke off beforehand. So we will replace that as well. But you wanna take these two screws off. And then this whole assembly here just pulls out from the truck. And you'll hear a little clipping noise because there's some clips that it's hooked into on the actual body. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of us actually getting this white wire connected in, um, but I'm gonna do kind of a, a demonstration to show you guys how it works. I've got a piece of wire here. We'll say this is the wire coming off of the light, and we'll say this is the wire that's already run for your truck. Uh, reverse light. What you want to do is I'll have these little clips linked in the video description. So you can see they've got two little holes. One of these holes will go all the way through and this other one does not. So you'll take your light and this goes in the one that does not go all the way through and then you slide this on to your other wire in the truck that does go all the way through. And once those are both on there like that, you take a pair of pliers or something like that, bend this piece over and clamp it shut. And what it's doing is this little piece of metal is being depressed down into the two wires and that's what's causing them to connect. The problem we were having with this one was the connectors are so big that this little thin wire wasn't fitting in there very well. I will have the connectors linked below. Just know that you might have to uh, do some electrical tape or something like that just to make sure that it stays. Now we've got our wires together. I've got some zip ties that I'm just gonna zip tie kind of everything together here just so that we don't have extra cables flopping all over the place. Got all of our cables zip tied now. I'm gonna show you guys real quick how I ran this wire just so you can see and do something similar on yours. So if you look here, that is the end of the strip and that white wire just runs down and right into the well here. We've got uh, some major holes that are just there because they don't need to be sealed. So you can run your wires and everything right into here and then connect them to your light. You can see I've got everything kind of zip tied together. Now that that's all done, we'll go ahead and pop these back into the light frame itself and put everything back together. Take your two screws on this side, put it back together.
And that's all done. I'm gonna go ahead and put the tailgate back on. Don't forget to reconnect your little uh, guide cables if you have them. Let's see how they look. We got brake lights. Got our left turn signal. Got our right turn signal. Right turn signal and brake lights. And then reverse and brake lights. And just reverse. Well, we're definitely gonna have to do some B-roll footage of this when it gets lit dark later tonight. Especially for nighttime, um, where I live, it's dark. We don't have any street lights or anything like that. We're up in the woods, um, and I'm also on the volunteer fire department. So this will make uh, the truck just that much more visible if I ever get uh, called to a call and end up there with my personal vehicle, which does happen occasionally. Um, super nice, pretty easy to install. I would definitely say if you are able to use the brackets, that might be the better way to go. Um, a little bit of the adhesive's already kind of starting to come off. So if you can use the brackets, I would very much suggest doing that. Um, but I think the adhesive's gonna hold just fine uh, for the near future at least. We'll see what happens and I'll upget, update you guys if uh, it does end up coming off. If you guys are interested in buying anything you saw in this video, the lights, the connectors, zip ties even, I'll have all the Amazon links down below where you can get all of this stuff, all the connectors, the adapter, that kind of thing. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll have other videos of like the LED tail lights and other things I've done with the truck kind of popping up here on the screen. Um, if you're interested in any of those, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will get to them as quickly as I can. Hope the audio on this video was okay. Uh, this is the first time trying out my new microphone that you saw the review of. Uh, if you want to see that video, that'll also be linked somewhere around here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.